Hey guys, Cornbread Reefs here. I'm going to do a quick review over these uh, Ishmash Dirty Round Mags I got. Just got them in. Priority mail. Oh. I'm not going to tell you where I got them at. Just because of the simple fact you guys will rape the living fucking dog shit out of this person. Or this company until they're all out. Especially you freaking ass pep preppers that think the end of the world's coming. If they are, I got six of these bitches. <laughs> But anyways, I'm pumped about this, guys. I am fucking pumped. $17.95 each. They got trench art on them. They are fucking amazing. I love them. I'll probably sleep next to them. I'll probably put half of these under my pillow tonight. I am pumped about this. I bought four of them about a month and a half ago. And they are um, unissued condition or new condition, per se. And these are obviously not. These are not. These got trench art. These have seen war. They got sand in them. These are fucking a history book inside themselves. Um, this one's got trench art of a naked lady on it. Or she got some legs on her. Anyways, they all got trench art. Um, they uh, feed lips are decent. Followers all work. Um, talked to the person who I ordered these from. He ensured me that they would uh, function. So I bought six of them. Um, all the metal looks pretty good. Except for this one. This one's the worst. It looks like it got chewed up a little bit. Um, the, the butt plate. The rifle shows up rust. Nothing the Dremel can't do. Um, and a little bit of spray paint. Um, other than that, they all work. I have no, you know, no reason that they wouldn't. Um, they all have trench art. I mean, look at that. That is, what was this guy thinking? Even one of them's got a couple circles with X's through the circles. And then there's like 20 circles on this one down the spine. I think it's this one right here. You can see the X's in the circles. Some of them don't have X's through it. It goes all the way up. And there's about 20 or 30 of them. And then... The lower, I think, 10 have X's. That guy might have killed 10 people. Who knows? You know what I mean? You don't know. But that's the point of these riot mags. You know, it's it's awesome. To me, it's awesome. I like it. I love it. I, I love that these um, um, have history in, inside themselves. They've seen war. And they're cheap. And these are good practice mags. They're good to go out and do drills with, you know, with live ammunition and you know, get your get your practice in and not be worrying about beating up a $35, $40 mag. These are 17 bucks a piece. Um, and I will definitely use them for that. I uh, will be running them in my Polish and my Bulgarian AK-74 and my Arsenal. You know what I mean? Um, but these, these are hot. These are badass. I got them $17 a piece. I don't want to make this video too long, but... Um, this one looks like it's got some etching on it. Looks like they etched off the Arsenal Ishmash mark. Um, but other than that, man, they're just... I love them. They all have just... They've seen more. This one looks like it's got some... Uh, some... Uh, maybe that's the, the company's number or the, the platoon number. I don't know. That was issued to or... Maybe that was, I don't know, maybe it was something. But that guy decided to etch that in there. But, yeah, these mags, hopefully I can uh, go out and shoot today and get some of these ran through my rifle and see how they function. I'm sure they're going to function, you know, flawlessly. Look all that trench art. I mean, that's, I love it. That shit to me just tickles my pickle, people. That is awesome. Ace, I don't know what the hell that guy's name. Most of these I can't even pronounce. I'm Russian. I got a, a buddy that's from Yugoslavia. He knows Russian. Or the Russian language. or I don't know what they call it. But I'm sure he'll be able to... That guy's name in English. I don't know. Cursive, maybe. That was someone's signature. I don't know. But these are hot. These are fucking bad. I want to show you guys something else. That I... Uh, on the... The window indicator on the to, to let you know that the mag is full. 
it looks like they used a cigarette or some kind of hot piece of metal to open it up. Maybe that's to let the sand out in the grit. I don't know. But that one has not been tampered with. That one is... But majority of them have been opened with something hot, a cigarette. I don't know. That's a perfect circle. Um, and, uh, yeah. These mags are the shit, guys. It's Cornbread Reese here. About to clean these up. And I'll uh, clean them up. Maybe do another review. And maybe do a review with them out in the field. Later.